Okay, Gaffer, um, back to club action after the international break. How have you found the break with the players? The break is what it is. It's, um, you know, it's, I'm not so sure how good or bad it can be. It's so disruptive with players flying away and not being back till Tuesday, Wednesday of the week. Uh, the other lads then uh, training at the end of last week, as you can imagine, with no game on the Saturday can be slightly flat. So it is what it is. We're now down to eight games to go. Uh, a lot of, of a lot of excitement and twist and turns ahead for everyone. And hopefully, a lot to enjoy. You got some different work into the boys over the break. We saw them over at Blundell's gym. They uh, went and did some boxing and stuff. Uh, what was the thinking behind doing something different? Just keep lads grounded. You've got to dig in at times. It's, it's you've got to. You know, the boxing's purely for a mental sort of toughness. Where now and again you've got to do stuff that you don't want to do or you don't like to do. do you know, footballers today are, are different. Different people. It's the way the game's gone. Do you know, but every now and again in every game you've got to grit your teeth and dig in and you know boxing is probably the best place for that it takes you totally out of your comfort zone do you know and it develops in my opinion develops mental strength and mental toughness some really nice moments for some individuals in your team over the international break lee evans was uh, starting for the first time for wales yeah. and then reese james got the award as well in the efl championship team of the season so nice to see them individual honors for, for certain players in your team yeah i think the more individual honors you can gain or gather I think it more more or less states the fact of how well lads can be doing within you know the club. I think from Lee's point of view, it's a great honour to represent your country. I'm sure his family will be very proud of him, and Lee should be very proud of himself. You know, Reese is just having one of them seasons where I don't think accolades are too far away from him, and you know I don't think much affects Reese James. If I'd be too full, Reece just keeps going. You know, from strength to strength within what he's doing, and you know, ideally for us, more and more accolades is good. It's healthy. It shows that your players are doing well. Albeit we find ourselves in a very challenging league, that's for sure. Yeah, challenging league. And back home, Brentford on Saturday. What do you make of Thomas Frank's side? Brentford are a good side, excellent side. Probably um, the away defeat we suffered down at Griffin Park was probably our, our toughest, probably, you know, in terms of generally we weren't in the game. You know, Brentford were far superior to us on the day and probably at that time had aspirations to be to probably do a little bit better than maybe what they've actually achieved during the season because... You know, they're a good side. You know, they have good players, everyone can handle the ball, the rotations are good, the movement's good, they carry threats all over the pitch and they are a very good side. So it's going to be a tough game for us tomorrow, that's for sure. Yeah, in terms of your team over the break, you managed to get some running into some lads. Danny Fox, Anthony Pilkington, how are they? All fit, all trained well all week, all fit and available for selection. So we have a, a fully fit squad to pick from, I think. <laughs> and that's one of them dilemmas for you, isn't it? It's not something you've always been blessed with this season, is it? And listen, in football, it, it, you know, all the, the problems that you care come out, you know, at the end of the season for me, we're very focused on what we're trying to do. It's, we've, had, we've had a good period, more notably at the start of the season, for sure, where we, you know, we took a lot of points quite quickly then. We've had our, our barren runs, our barren spells, but we're on the back of our best home performance probably of the season, winning a big local derby against a team that had been very hard to beat to most teams. You know, I thought the lads were excellent. I thought that the pressure of the game was there for all to see, and they responded magnificently. Our home form is up there with the the best teams in the division. You know, we're all aware of what our away form is, but we're at home tomorrow, and it's a game that, you know, if we can get success in, would put us in a very strong position. And in return for that best home performance, you probably got one of your best home atmospheres as well. It was a, it was a really good atmosphere at the DW last time. That I think, with, with all due respect, two derby matches and away followings. It endears itself for good atmospheres. It's it's good. Wigan fans play their part admirably. You know, but I think the goals help the, the crowd. I think, like I say now and again, it's a, a relationship where you need each other. Our fans needed us last week to give them a lift, and I felt we'd done that with our early goal and the momentum of the game. You know, now and again, going into games, we're going to need our fans to lift us, and that's that's what football's about for me. It's a it's a give and take relationship. That's for sure. And this weekend's game, Wigan Athletic be dedicating it to kick it out. Twenty five years of kick it out in, in football and probably poignant timing with the, the incidents uh, in, in the week as well. Really important message to get out there about kick it out and the work I, in football. I, I think the, the message from the England lads was of solidarity. You know, it was great to see Raheem step up, you know, do the interviews that he was doing. The sadness is that we're still discussing it 25 years in. That's the sadness. There's no place for it. There's no place in and around sport. There's no place in and around life in general. And the quickly we eradicate from our, not just our football, our society in general, then the world will be a better place for everyone.